Hello, my dear student. I am Rajamuni Ali. Today, on 21st of April, I am going to start your class 6 history first chapter where, when, and how. So, yesterday uh, we discussed three topics from this lesson. So, now I am going to start another topic today. So, at first, I am going to discuss uh, first topic. Uh, sources of food in history so uh, how my uh, history people collected uh, food in that time people collected roots fruits and other forest produce for their food and also hunted animals the two crops wheat and barley were grown about 8000 years ago near the northwest region where Suleiman and Kirtar hills are located the region of Garu Hills uh, to the northeast and the Vindhyas in central India were developed in rice production. So, sources of food in history complete. Uh, I, just, I just tell you and discuss point wise of, your, of this lesson. So, you people properly read the lesson and then uh, do the question answer which one I am also be giving for homework so to the next topic is why did people travel in history time people travel from one place to another in search of their livelihood to escape from natural calamities and also to conquer others land religious teachers move from one place to another to deliver their uh, religious understanding to the people traveling immersed as a strong aspect of sharing ideas between two or more people having diversities so uh, why did people travel uh, in history time we can also be know now next topic is next and last topic of this lesson is how do we know about the past so about the past if we want to know about our past then we can also be uh, read pro properly uh, we can also be read properly our sources then here from we can also be know our past so how do we know about the past by sources archaeologists and historians study study several sources to tell us about the past so there are two sources archaeological and literary sources so what is archaeology sources the study of human history and prehistory through the excavation of sites and the analysis of physical remains. Archaeologists use sources like monuments, artifacts, uh, inscription, and coins. Literary sources. So next we is uh, discussed about literary sources. What is literary sources? Handwritten or any other written record of the past is known as a literary source. Literary source include two types of literature, religious literature and secular literature. Manuscripts. Books that were written long ago called manuscripts were usually written on palm leaf. These books deal with religious beliefs and practices. The leaves of kings, medicine and science. The Prakrit was the language which was commonly used by ordinary people at that time. Inscription. Inscription were written on hand surface, such as uh, hard surface, uh, such as stone or metal uh, objects which were made of hard enduring substances. So, who studied sources of history? So, whose people studied the sources of history? There were two groups of people who studied history. One, one was called uh, archaeologist and the other group was called historian archaeologists studied remains of buildings uh, made of stones bricks paintings and sculptures then the other group called historians were historians were the people who studied the past and used information found in inscription seals and script so uh, today completed your lesson uh, history first chapter when where and how so i just tell uh, i just discuss this lesson point wise then you people read properly the lesson 
then which one i gave him for homework then you can also be do so at first i am giving some homework to do from this lesson you can also be do uh, a number choose the correct option uh, do for homework then b number uh, fill in the blanks then c number answer this question very briefly i am giving for homework so for today now bye and uh, my dear student after uh, watching the videos then subscribe our school channel like the videos and press the bell icon for upcoming videos thank you